previously on Barefoot Sailing Adventures. What do y'all think, guys? Am I doing all right? You're doing great. <laughs> She's the best cook that I've ever met. Yeah, right. You're serious? Sometimes leaving a tail on is good. You've got something to grab on yeah. here. Everybody likes a little tail. <laughs> Our surf and turf is done. Can't wait to dive in and eat it all. Eat it. Eat it like you mean it. <laughs> all right, it's eating time, folks. Eating time. We've been telling you all along that the boat is here <laughs> in this town on the hard here in Punta Gorda, and we're about to prove it. So ride along with us, and let's go check it out. Make sure everything's looking good because we're about to put it in the water. Check it out. Looks a little different because Mike's done some work to it. So let's go see what he's done. Whoa, ho, ho. What do you see right there, folks? There she is. There's a big, beautiful girl. A looky here, folks. Can anybody say what is nice and new about the boat? Maybe it's the bottom paint job. <laughs> yes. Mike worked really, really hard to get the boat ready for us. Worked extra hard on this bottom paint job, which really needed to be done. And he got some clips of that, so I'm sure he'll throw them in here for you to see. Here's the mess we have. Let's have a closer look at what I'm doing here. Here's the original water line down here, but with so much weight in the boat, the new water line is all the way up here. First time I did it, I got in a hurry, scuffed up the gel coat, painted right over it. Well, it didn't last but three months. So now I've got to take it all the way back down to the gel coat, do a barrier coat first, which is what I should have done to begin with. I knew it, but I was just hoping to be okay. I was wrong. But now it's time to do it right. It's not easy. It's 90 degrees outside, sweating bullets. But we got to do what we got to do to have fun, keep the boat looking good, performing well. More importantly, Keep the water out of the fiberglass. Here we go, it's not all fun and games, guys. Try flipping this out over. See, does a little better job. Woo! See the next step. All right, folks, now it's time to do some hand sanding around areas like this. Through hauls and places I couldn't get with the big sander, I gotta get down here to this spot here. Expose this short little white line here. That's where we're gonna do our two-part epoxy barrier coat to this upper portion here. Just a little bit of hand sanding and do the best we can around these areas. Then it's onto a solvent. We'll clean that surface. Maybe I'll touch up the tape job too because I touched it a couple spots with the uh, sander. All right, it's looking better. We're gonna be a heck of a lot closer to getting back in the water. Whoo, hang with us. It won't be long now. Taping is not easy. If you pull on it too hard, it'll stretch. Once it stretches a little bit, it's not really straight anymore. It looks like a good start. So I'm just gonna take a chunk maybe that I can handle. All right, I like it better. Nice and straight. Throw a piece on top. That'll be all right. Here we go. Time to go to town here. Let's get the paint, shall we? I don't know how this roller is gonna do, but it's getting there. Barrier coat, two part epoxy. Stuff's pretty sticky. So far, so good. We're off to the races. It dries pretty quick, too. Real quick. First coat is on there. Five more to go. Here it goes. Anti following paint. Isn't that pretty? For the secret sauce, I'm gonna add some cayenne pepper to the mix. It really helps give it some more performance. Maybe I should taste it, see if it's hot enough. It smells good, it smells like paint. This is an ablative, copper-based paint. Getting closer, two coats. A couple hours in between each coat. All right, we're gaining on it. This is looking a little better. There's already a good coat of paint on the very bottom. Here comes the moment of truth. Pulling that tape off, the adhesive is, is being left behind on the bottom edge. Sure, that'll come off. None of this stuff is cheap, I can tell you that. I don't know how much money I got into this, but it's a lot. Nevertheless, we do have a fairly straight edge going. Mm, okay. That looks pretty good to me. Don't look too close. It won't look too bad. I'm satisfied. You guys satisfied? It's better than it did, I can tell you that. Now, it is blue. That's a wrap on the bottom paint. That was quite the job, and he worked really hard on that. Very dirty, messy, not something that you would necessarily want to do, <laughs> but much needed because... Ow! You okay? Yeah, I got into some ants. Uh, continue on, I'll, I'll live. Folks, you're, they're still crawling up you. Are they? Yes. It's on your leg. Yeah, we're gonna have to, uh, that's what we need to put on the list is insecticide. Okay, take four. Here we are. That's a famous split personality. He's been hanging out here while we've been doing our adventuring on our land yachts. If I actually went yeah. through all the standing rigging. Make sure everything's good to go. We want to be safe. Very windy day. With yes. As you can see, <laughs> we're blowing, the trees are blowing. Once it calms down just a little bit, drop her in the water and get to sailing. I think we've got the ultimate travel setup now, though. 
I don't know about you guys, but we're camping in style whether we're on land or water. Got to get the mast up, sails on. Come with us. Everything's all, oh, the other thing I did. Come on over here. We take a look. I actually got this fixed. Oh, yeah, because if y'all remember. If you guys remember a little incident at the dock when I forgot to put the <laughs> swim ladder up and the rope got sucked into the prop. That was not good sounding, was it? Oh, you know what it was? That caused several problems. Bent the entire ladder over. Simultaneously, it pulled the outboard towards the swim ladder. Let me just show you what happened. Twisted it. And so it twisted this, that way, and we got a break there that needs to be welded. I will have to take it to a welder. Well, he took this and got this fixed for us also. So now all our hydraulic steering is good to go. Yes. Great job. We got her shined up. She's ready to go back in the water and we're gonna keep on keeping on, folks. Keep on keeping on. Listen to that wind howl. That wind is crazy today. When we hook up to it, drive down the road. She's gonna be an eye catcher. <laughs> I know another eye catcher right here. <laughs> Once the wind calms down, we're gonna get everything transferred over out of here. We'll continue our journey. Tampa Bay to Key West. No cop, no stop. But as you can see, it's a blustery day, folks. It's a pretty little strip. It really is. Beautiful palm trees lining the street. We're on the way to Ace Hardware. Ace Hardware in Punta Gorda to get some insecticide because Mike got bit up by fire ants today. <laughs> got into some fire ants right there by the boat and we yeah. decided to go Right ahead. away, we better make a little pit stop at the Ace Hardware. I'll tell you, just take a look at this town and you'll see that there are a lot of beautiful buildings and architecture. Oh. Yeah, very quaint. I would also call it eclectic. It has a variety of things to do and to see. There is a lot going on here. But we're rolling right up in the business with Land Yacht. This thing, although it's pretty huge, it does manage to get around. It travels nicely. It Here. fits. If it fits, it ships. <laughs> <laughs> so I guess we're going to... Looks like they're going to have a big live music. Okay, we're gonna parallel park this bad boy. Okay, here we are. We're gonna take up both spots. <laughs> All right, let's let's walk through Punta Gorda and go pick up some insecticide. Insecticide. Killing some fire ants. Seeking revenge. They waged a little war against my feet. It's a real pretty little town, isn't it? Yeah, I didn't really expect it to be on the lake. Now this is an old school hardware shop right here. Check this out guys. So much to see. Fasteners and screws and nuts. Keep going in the back room and that's where the insecticide is. Yeah, I think we got what we need. <laughs> Behind the mask. <laughs> cool store, isn't it? I have your favorite hats. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you Thank so much. You. All right, you too. Cool. Awesome. Hey, that went really well. That went really well. Now let's go apply this product to the facial area of the ants. <laughs> right to their face. Right to their face. Can you see the land yacht from here? Absolutely. Yeah? <laughs> Look all the way across town, you can see that thing. On the road again. Mike's about to kill these things. Seek revenge. Get them. They're aggressive. That's it, folks. Okay, now we can carry on. There.